look how crazy this looks. Yeah. Yep, that's me. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Serena, hence the intro, that's so Rena. You get it, Corey, I know, that's just how we are here. Period. So, as you guys can tell by the title, we are reviewing the Win Beauty SPF Skin Tint. This is a new brand by Serena Williams, the tennis player, and it was only fitting that I did a video on it because my name is Serena, her name is Serena, you get what I'm putting down, okay? And so, yeah, I'm going to be sharing my honest opinion with y'all. I usually don't do a lot of sit-down videos, so let me know how you guys like this. And without further ado, y'all know I don't like long intros. Let's get into it, y'all. So we're switching it up today with a sit-down makeup video. I, like I said in the intro, I am reviewing the Win Beauty um, skin tint. It has SPF in it. So I want to show you guys live on camera how it oxidizes because... That, that's just what you need to see you need to see so i am in the shade 315 curiosity when i went on the website there was well when i went on um the wind beauty website because i do sell it in ulta when i went on the wind beauty website if you click on the like on the spf skin tint and you're trying to figure out what color you are it lets you put in like what shade you are in other brands so like um I knew I'm 315, I mean 355 coconut and Maybelline fit me. So that's what I put in. And this is literally the exact match to that, which is shocking because when I put it out, I'm going to show y'all when I put it out all over my body. Let me get a, I blend this out with a brush instead of with my fingers. I see a lot of people do it with their fingers and I'm like, mm, I'm just not a foundation with a fingers kind of girl. <laughs> This is the BS Small brush. It's from Amazon. I'll link my brushes down below if you're interested. And it is an Amazon storefront, so I do get a bit of commission when you use it. But it's like pennies. If you're with supporting this channel, you can use that link. Otherwise, you can do your own research and not use the link. So I'm just going to apply this here so you guys can see how bright it is at first. I just apply it all over. Like I said, it has SPF in it. And usually, I don't prime every time I do my makeup um especially with this because this is so lightweight as you guys can see it's bright already even when I like do this you're like well that's not the right color but watch how it literally transforms into my skin it's like nothing is on and I do want to branch out and try um like their concealers and their lip glosses but <laughs> The main star of the show was the SPF skin tint. So that's what we got going on here. As you can see, it's not like cakey. Also, it's like giving like an inner glow kind of thing. And you can smell the sunscreen in it. Let me just let y'all know that part as well. Um, and I'm just going to apply it all over. Kind of like how we did back in the day. How we would just put it all over us. And we'd be one shade walking around. Um, I was going to put it all over and then I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. Now, I do think that it is affordably priced because it's like $24. And I mean, for a celebrity brand of makeup, that's not that bad, um, in my opinion. But to each his own, you know, I can't speak for your budget, but it's a, it's a pretty good amount of product in there and as you can see you don't have to use a lot to get the coverage that you want and they do claim online that it is buildable coverage but I do like to still look like myself when I do my makeup so I won't be caking it on too much but yeah look at this guys wow I mean did I put anything on or did I wake up like this please as you guys seen it like melted into my skin like look how crazy this looks this looks crazy right now <laughs> and then it like blends in so seamlessly it's like where did that just go the oxidization I don't know why I just said that like that but the oxidization of this makeup is like I don't know how she did it, and I need to know. Like, what's the key? Sorry, Williams. Let me know. I did a photo shoot with this makeup, as you guys seen on Instagram, as well as on my community tab on YouTube. And when Beauty responded, so in my head, I'm like, Serena Williams knows me. Like, period. 
But yeah, y'all, this was this is not sponsored, by the way. I just wanted to share this with y'all because I really do recommend this product. If you are someone who is getting into makeup, you don't know too much about makeup, you still want to look like yourself, I'd highly recommend this. You know, because there is no right or wrong when it comes to sunscreen. Okay, we're supposed to be wearing sunscreen all the time, every day. I'll speak for myself. I don't do that. So I love that the product incorporates that. And, you know, sunscreen, SPFs, all that is good for your skin, anti-aging, um, you know, fighting skin cancer. Shoot, like, I just think it's so great that. And it makes sense. It's so on brand for her to have that because, you know, she's a tennis player. So clearly she's going to need those properties. So this is not a makeup tutorial, but I just want y'all to see how the product works with other products. So I am going to put my concealer. Well, I'm going to do my eyebrows first and then do my concealer. This is just some regular brown pomade from the beauty supply store. Excuse my neighbors. It's Sunday fun day. So everyone is out and about with their motorcycles and their slingshots. And I'm talking about their turn up. Okay. So with my brows, um, I get them waxed, but I try to like not get them waxed too often because I don't want them thin. So I am getting them done before my upcoming trip that I'm going to. So I'm just like stretching it out. But when I do stretch out my uh, eyebrow waxes, I just lightly go in and outline like the shape that I want my brows to be. And then I clean them up with concealer. So yeah, y'all, my skin looks so good. Let's take a minute for the skin, please. What? Please. Okay. We're going to go ahead and clean these brows up. I never do my brows on camera, so here y'all go. Um, yeah. Yes, baby. This is how it's on. Literally, I'm just doing hair-like strokes inside my brows because they're pretty thick. So I don't really have to change the shape of them. I just fill in like this, not even the sparse areas. I ain't got no sparse brows, but just this little hair like strokes in between the hair I already have. So, I so yeah, that's one eyebrow. We're going to do the other and then we're going to clean it up with concealer so y'all can see like the difference before concealer and after. And you know, another thing I like about this foundation is that it's so lightweight. I feel like I didn't even put anything on my face just now. And that, my friends, is how you do a skin tint. You don't want to feel heavy or like your pores can't breathe. Like, please. And literally feels like nothing. When I went to do my photo shoot and I had this foundation on, I would, well, first of all, I don't sweat that much. So I can't speak on the oily skin girls because I have dry skin. Um, but it was a blazing hot outside on that tennis court, okay? And I was comfortable. I didn't feel like, oh my God, I can't wait to get this makeup off. You know how you get that feeling? I never got that feeling when I had this on. So I've been wearing this foundation, this foundation only ever since. Like, my Maybelline Fit Me has not seen me since I got this foundation. Um, yeah. Okay, here's the other brow. There's the other brow, period. And then I'm just going to clean that up. So for the, this is the brush that I'm using. It's kind of like a f flat kind of concealer brush, but it's like really mini. Again, it came in the set with the other, um, it came in the set with the other brushes I've been using. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in Satin Finish. And of course, don't mind my nails, y'all, because I'm doing them. But of course, I have to get hydrating formula because, like I said, the girl got dry skin. So, oh, I was about to do my whole concealer. Let me clean up my brows. So I just take the brush and I dab it in the concealer. And I literally just go under underneath and clean it up. So you can really do your brows as messy as possible because you're going to clean it up after. But usually I do my brows before foundation. But since I'm not this time, I am going to clean it up not as sloppily as I would if I was going back under with my foundation. So pretty much self-explanatory. I'm just, let me turn this way so y'all can see. I'm just going underneath my brow and literally just cleaning it up, highlighting it pretty much. Like, defining the shape is the better word for it. 
Um, fun fact, I used to be a makeup artist back in the day, like as my career. Um, I had this photographer who I worked with. Every time he booked a photo shoot, it would automatically book me a client. So I would be on set with him. This is like the funnest time of my life, actually. And I would come and I would do the girls' makeup. And then they would do their photo shoot. I'd get paid and I'd go. Simple. It was great for exposure and great for networking. Meeting a lot of um, aspiring models, aspiring content creators, things of that nature. I am going to clean my other brow up now. And then we will blend that out with a fluffy brush. I'm glad that I figured out this setup like for this room because I've always wanted to do sit down videos with y'all but I couldn't quite figure out how I wanted to do the setup because y'all know I filmed tipsy talk here and I didn't want all my videos to look the same on all channels so yes that is what we got going on we are finally in here we're finally filming and also I have a new camera now I'm using the Sony ZV-1F so it is great zoom like y'all are really not this close to me i can't even reach y'all like <laughs> you're not close to me at all but i know that i'm in focus i know y'all can see me and i ain't gotta worry about that one day i might get a um, viewfinder just to have right here so i can really really see but i got this camera for myself because i work very hard and i feel like it was time to upgrade the quality. The thing, the next thing I'm gonna upgrade is my mics. I want to get the DJI, uh, uh, the DJI wireless mics like that. Have the little poof on top because the quality in that audio, y'all, is immaculate. But I just wanted to get something just better than what the camera picks up for Tipsy Talk. So I just got these uh, mics off of Amazon which is not that bad like these are a great option like if you are starting off a podcast or you're just starting off YouTube and you want to get uh, a mic I had another um, wireless mic but it was only one I knew they said it two because I was going to have guests so I upgraded to the ones that I'm using now because you know tipsy talking you need to hear both of us not just me so yeah i upgraded that and i gave the other one to janice and she's loving that little mic but i really want to upgrade to the dji mics but they're like 300 400 and they're just mics so soon come okay but not immediately we're gonna make a do what to do baby okay all right so we have blended out the brows i actually have a photo shoot today that's another reason why I'm doing my makeup. We're going to do my concealer under my eyes. And we're going to set that with the this little sponge and my Derma Blend. This is not it. Please hold. Please hold. Hello? Oh. This is my Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. This is what I use to set my under eyes. If y'all can see that, it's literally just translucent powder. And trans, let me tell you something. Translucent powder used to scare me because I just used to think that anything that bright would automatically have flashback, right? And no, it's all about the blend and what you use to blend it out with. So I blend out my makeup with. Hold on, let me get this mustache. Okay, let me get this mustache. I blend out my concealer. I used to. Stop. Sometimes I don't do this part right here, but um, I blend out my concealer with my Maybelline uh, Fit Me uh, setting powder. Oh my god, now I'm out of spray. That's not good. It's not good at all. Okay. All right. This is my favorite part: the concealer. Please. And I'm really manifesting a brand deal with e.l.f. this year. So, I gotta make it do what it do, okay? I gotta make it do what it do. I really want a brand deal with e.l.f. by the end of the year. I don't care what it is. If I'm on their PR list, anything. PR list, brand event, uh, sponsor content, I don't care. Like, I just want to work with e.l.f. I love e.l.f. I think they're super affordable. Comment down below if you guys want a full dedicated, a full face 
um, with using Elf because I feel like they're the most affordable in the game right now when it comes to quality makeup because their price points are like seven dollars, eight dollars, like. And look at this concealer, like it's blending out like butter. It's actually super crazy, and the foundation is like, I mean the um, the um, concealer is like seven dollars. You can get it at Target, Kroger, like. Please, it's literally like the most convenient brand ever. Sometimes you can find Elf inside the Dollar Tree, okay? Like, they're appealing to the people. They know their target audience. Mm hmm. As do I. And I feel like this would be a great combination. Like, okay. I just love the skin tint because it, like, Recently, I've been doing like just concealer, no foundation at all, and then going in with like a setting powder after, and um, not a setting powder, but a um, foundation powder after, just to like blend it out. And I feel like the skin tint just gives me like that inner glow, like my skin was already looking hydrated and moisturized prior to um, putting on makeup, and so I like that look. I need to get a makeup wipe for my lips because I hate when the foundation gets on my lips like that, but it's okay. Also, I'm using a makeup brush to um, undo my my bead mark getting covered because I have a bead mark on my eye. I mean, not on my eye. What? I have a bead mark on my lip and I don't like to hide it, okay? Look at that. Glow from within. Please, don't play where he's not one of them. We're going to set that and then we're going to, um, we're going to set my under eyes and then we're going to, um, what am I saying? Can I not speak? And then we're going to dust it away with that Maybelline powder. So I learned this trick from Jackie. You put your, your translucent powder on the back of your hand and you dab it in because it's too much powder that comes up with it. And you literally just press it in. Just press it in. Look up. So that the lines aren't there and just press it in. And literally, I look like I have a filter on my face when I am out and about. Okay. I need to take my allergy medicine. Alright. Again. Ooh. <laughs> Y'all getting comments all day, every day about this family feed. I got another viral reel coming for y'all real soon. I seem to like my voiceover, so I will continue to do that. I didn't know y'all like my little opinion, my little quirkiness. Okay, that's just how we are here. Alright, go ahead and do. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So what I realized is, first of all, I need to um, narrow my mustache, but what, what I really learned is that when I like um, do this and then put it on, it helps decrease the amount of lines that I get around my mouth. So that's why y'all see me doing that. If you were wondering what the hell I'm doing. So I take this little small brush and I take my um, Maybelline Fit Me Powder 355 Coconut. I'm running out. This is a matte and poreless, so I use dewy everything, but when I'm dusting away my um, translucent powder, I'm using matte, matte product. So, yeah, that's what makes me look so picture perfect, I guess, if you want to use, if you want to use that word. And I just put that everywhere. I put the concealer. I should tone it down some so I don't look too bright. Like, this is how I still look like me. Because I'm using the right colors. I'm not making it dramatically different. It's not dramatically different. But it is like, oh, she has makeup on. You know? That's what I like to give with my shoes. Because I don't want y'all to see me in person and be like, ooh, she does not look like that. Ooh, I would hate that. If y'all felt that way about me, I would hate that. This is my holy grail as well. Oh, I got lashes stuck to it and stuff. Mm -mm. This is my holy grail. You don't get that. This is my Revolution, um, Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer in the shade Medium. 
y'all. I might tell you a joke, but I'll never tell you a lie. Okay? I'm just gonna open this up. And I use this brush with it. The biggest fluffy brush you can see. And this is how I contour. I don't use liquid contour. I might get into that later. I know how to do it, obviously, because I did makeup. But I just prefer to contour with the bronzer. It just makes me more red. And that's what I like. Okay? If I ever think it's too harsh because it's powder, I can dust it away with my Fit Me. It is perfection. Okay. So I just take it in my high points here. My cheekbone, downward cheekbone. I learned this from It's My Ray Ray. Like where to contour. Mm -hmm. And then we go down here on the chin so that she don't have no dope chin and pictures, okay? Because your girl, she eat her, her pasta. She eat her rice and cabbage. Okay. But I don't want y'all to tell that in pictures, okay? So then we go down my nose. From the top of the brow, down the nose. Top of the brow, down the nose. It's just a light dust. It doesn't have to be dramatic. And then I go over some like this. I learned this from Ashley Devana. I go over some like this. Sometimes I put blush there, but I ran out of blush tracking to get more of that. And then I have this Estee Lauder um, Sumptuous Extreme. It's the Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara. My dad got this for me. Y'all, the truth. Okay? I don't even know how he got this, but he brought it for me, and he sent it to me. So I just hit my bottom lashes with these because I am doing fake lashes, which I'm not applying on camera. Like, no, I won't be doing that. I'll be getting up, and I'll be going to my bathroom mirror and putting that on. But, yeah, y'all, this is literally all I do to get ready for the day or my photo shoots. Not even for the day because I don't wear makeup every day. But if I do wear makeup, more than likely, I have this SPF skin tint on now these days. Look at how, y'all. I'm just hitting my bottom lashes because, like I said, I'm putting fake lashes on. But I love the look when my bottom lashes are wispy as well. Oh, like when they look spidery like this. Oh my god. Like, it's perfect. It's perfect. I told my dad, like, wow, chicken dinner. Winner, winner with this freaking mascara. What do you get it for me? Uh -huh. Uh, wow. Perfection. Mm -hmm. I'm just not realizing I have more lashes on this side than I do on this side. That's why I just got so quiet because I'm like, wait a minute. Wow, perfect. Wow, people, people be like, are those your real bottom lashes? I'm like, yeah, girl, no extensions. Just mascara. Mm -hmm. Wow. I would really love to do a full face of Elf with y'all. So let me know how y'all feel down below. And let me know how y'all feel about sit down videos with me in general i know y'all are used to vlogs but i remember in the be beginning of the year i said i wasn't going to do all new vlogs just searchable content but honestly my heart forces me to vlog so that's how we ended up here again even though i said i wasn't going to do this so what i'm about to do is take the makeup off of my lip with a um with a makeup remover wipe put my lashes on let my hair out and then I'll be right back and we will close today's video. All right, y'all. So I just finished my hair off camera, put my lashes on and my lip gloss. And yeah, the look is giving. It's giving skin. Never had to do too much. It's giving, I don't know. It's giving, did she wake up like this? Minus lashes, you know. I wish my lashes 
just look like this when I woke up, right? I tried the lash extensions, but it's not my thing. Like, the maintenance, having to wash them, them growing out and feeling prickly, not like that. But anyways, y'all, here is the final look. Let me know how you guys think, and let me know how you guys like this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to check out Wim Beauty and all the other products I list down here, but specifically this, because I'm telling y'all, this is the game changer right now. Like, I look like this, but I feel nothing. The only thing I feel is my lashes because the glue is still a little bit tacky but i just need to come and finish this video for y'all but yeah remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye